Test, test. AC4, senior night. AC4 versus Ridgeview. Test, test, test.
I'd like to direct your attention to midfield, where we will honor our nine seniors on this senior night. Each of these young men has dedicated a significant portion of their lives to Aiton, Flora, and to the game of soccer. And their substantial contributions are not lost on their coaches, parents, and teammates. We want to thank them for all their efforts these past four to six years and recognize their outstanding success both on and off the field. In addition, we would like to show our appreciation to the parents of these young men who have helped guide them along their journey. Please give them all a round of applause. At this time, we'd like to recognize each player and their families individually at midfield. John Campbell, J.C. Blackwelder. J.C. is an IB candidate and a member of the National Honor Society. He has played soccer here at Flora for five years and has been a six-year member of the cross-country team, where he served as captain this season. His favorite soccer memory was being selected for the 4A All-State team last season. JC is currently undecided about his future, but has narrowed down to two schools of interest. JC doesn't like to talk much about himself, so we'll do it for him. Simply put, JC will graduate as one of the best attacking players to ever play for the Falcons. In his junior year, he amassed 17 goals and eight assists for the Falcons, earning him All-State, All-Region, and Offensive MVP, MVP honors. In his senior season, J.C. has bagged 11 goals and contributed nine assists so far. His pace, relentless engine, and touch on the ball, combined with a knack for finding the back of the net, make him an absolute menace to defenders. In addition, J.C. is one of the kindest, most compassionate, and high-character young men on the team, rightfully selected as captain for his senior season. Adam Britt. Adam is an IB candidate, a member of the National Honor Society, and a member of the National Society for High School Scholars. He has been in the Flora soccer program for six years and has played soccer for SC United, Congaree Rapids, and Technical Soccer. Adam has also run cross country since the seventh grade. His favorite soccer memory was beating May River to advance to the lower state championship last year. In his senior season, Adam has been an anchor across the back line for the Falcons often playing as a right-footed left back and contributing with one assist. Along with his teammates, Adams has helped secure eight shutouts across 14 games. Adams has been a wonderful young man to coach. He is accountable, mature, and very intelligent. He works incredibly hard in training and matches to perform to the best of his ability. After graduation, Adam plans to attend either Auburn University or Clemson University and major in mechanical engineering. We would also like to say a special thank you to his father, Will Britt, for lending his time and his voice these last two years from the booth. is an Ivy candidate, an Aiton Scholar, and a member of the National Honor Society. He has played soccer for Aiton Floor for two years and made varsity in his senior season. Height has run cross country at Aiton Flora for six years, where he was an all-district and all-region selection. His favorite soccer memory was versus Maragona and Westwood. Height plans to attend Clemson next year and major in environmental studies. Height joined us in his junior year on the JV team and progressed to the varsity team this year. Height is an excellent teammate who always competes to the best of his abilities in and out of practice. He's 
very quick and has a great interest from soccer due to his cross-country background.
Ventures and Packaging Design. This has been a four-year varsity starter at AC Flora after being thrown into action late in his freshman year after an injury to the varsity starting goalkeeper. The stats speak for themselves. Under Fareed and his tenure, AC Flora has so far conceded just 23 goals over a three-year period of 54 games and secured an unbelievable 29 shutouts. Besides keeping the ball out of the net, outstanding part of Smith is his character and his work ethic. From freshman and sophomore year to now, Smith transformed his body into becoming as athletic as he possibly could in order to perform better at his position and help his team. He went from not being able to pass a fitness test to being one of the first to do so his junior and senior year. He is selfless and spends a larger portion of his free
The Blazers enter today's match with an overall record of 5 and 10 and are 1 and 7 in the region. The AC Flora Falcons come to the match tonight with an overall record of 13 0 and 2. The Falcons are undefeated in region play and are riding a 12 match winning streak. AC Flora is currently ranked first in the region and sixth in the state in Division 4A. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ridgeview versus AC Flora. Now, please, we ask that you draw your attention to the field for today's. Jay Seabrook. 
Good evening, Falcon friends, Falcon family, and Falcon fans. AC Flora in blue, taking on Ridgeview in white. Senior night here at Falcon Field. Celebrated our nine seniors. If you missed it uh, over at halftime, rewind this uh, stream and, and watch it. Some pretty impressive young student athletes. So, senior Adam Britt will sling this in. Chef Huggins. Diego. All right, so starting up top, let's start up top today. We've got Height Kramer. We've got Cullen Moss. We've got J.C. Blackwelder. In the midfield, we've got Finn Porter, Diego Vasquez, and Shepard Huggins. In the back, we've got William Colloy, Walker Miller, Zach Versile, and Adam Britt. And in between the pipes tonight, goalie, Smith Templeton. Finn Porter takes that ball. Big crossover looking for Cullen for height, and that'll be a corner kick coming up. Your AC4 Falcons are coached by head coach David Schroer, assisted by Von Benag and Emmett Moss. Special thanks to Jeff Rhodes at Definite Fiction for setting us up to stream. Shep Huggins has served this first corner kick in. Shep Huggins to serve the second corner kick in. No. Handball, I guess. All right, so no goal. So it looks like senior William Colloy will put this on the spot and have a shot at a penalty kick. William Colloy, one of the seniors we celebrated earlier. Red card, oh my gosh, come on. <sighs> I hate it for that poor guy, and that means uh, Ridgeview plays with 10 people the rest of the match. That's uh, pretty unfortunate. I didn't see exactly what happened, but uh, ugh. All right, so senior William Colloy lines up behind the ball. Your AC Floor Falcons coming into this match 13 0 and 2. The two those two were two ties early in the season. Uh, in the region, perfect 8 and 0. On track to clinch the number one seed or the region 5 4A championship uh, got two more league mac matches left this season this one and uh, tomorrow night against Richland Northeast a makeup game so uh, AC Floor scored 72 goals had 65 assists and uh, 10 goals against again number one in region 5 4a and currently sits number six in all of 4a All right, after much ado about about five minutes into the match and we're gonna start playing again, I hope. All right, Ridgeview, oh, here we go. Mm. 
William Colloy rattles the crossbar and still knotted up 0-0. Zero, zero. And about 700 people are offsides. Even though that goes in, offsides. Yep. All right, so not the start we're looking for, but uh, Ridgeview comes in this match 5-11, and 1-7 one and seven in the region. They've scored 37 goals, but given up 58. J.C. Blackwater, one of our seniors and one of our captains. He, Walker Miller, and Smith Templeton are the three captains this year. J.C. Blackwater, crossover. Go, Height. Oh. Diego floats one in, but it goes a little too high. So it'll be a goal kick coming up for Ridgeview. So uh, region match, again, AC4 is 8-0 in the region. Ridgeview is 1-7. That region is Region 5, 4A, which consists of AC Flora, Irmo, Lugolf Elgin, Richland Northeast, Ridgeview, and Westwood. Floor is the uh, reigning Region 5, 4A champion from 2023 season where they went a perfect 10-0 in the region. Ended up uh, losing in the semifinals lower state championship last year to James Island and finished with a 17-3 final record last season. That'll be an AC floor throw coming up. Adam Britt resets to William Colloy. Adam, one of those seniors. To William, a senior. To Walker, a senior. To Shep, a junior. To Zach, a senior. To JC, it was supposed to go to JC, a senior. Nice, Adam picks a pocket, finds the ginger ninja, Finn Porter, who plays it back to William Colloy. AC Floor had a super tough match Tuesday night against Lugolf Elgin dropped uh, two early goals in that match. Took a 0-2 score into halftime and then battled back. Big time goals by Carlitos and two by Cullen Moss to give us the win in uh, second overtime period. Cullen, Ma Cullen Moss had the uh, game winner. Oh, Coach Schroer with the ups. Zach Rosal to throw this ball. Go, Cullen. Diego's there. Over to Adam. I don't think I've seen these kits before, so they must be rocking these new kits tonight. Uh, the blue with the white uh, highlights up top. Look sharp. Wow, great ball, good header from uh, Ridgeview's player. Got to roll out of bounds. It'll be a Zach Versailles throw in. Quick to JC. Work your magic, JC. Walker Miller finds Shep. Shep finds Walker again. Walker serves it up. Looking for height, Kramer. That gets cleared out of bounds. That'll be an AC floor throw in. Adam Britt, number five and a senior. Throws it in to height. Ends up going to Cullen. Cullen with the cross, looking for Finn. Diego. Oh, Finn, he tried it. He almost did it. He almost tried to turn a bicycle kick. Walker Miller, Height Kramer, Adam Britt, Cullen Moss, 
Not sure what that squeal was about behind me. Zach, the nice pass up to Finn. Ah, unfortunate. Yep, JC. JC has a go. Go, JC Blackwelder. That one was on a rope. Well done, JC. Well done. AC Flora one, Ridgeview zero. Really pretty cool. Let's watch that again. Yep, JC. JC has a go. Go! JC Blackwelder. Yep. JC. JC has a go. Go! JC Blackwelder. Great goal, JC Blackwelder. Senior, captain, goal scorer. That gives JC, let's find him on my stat sheet, 10-11, that's his 12th goal of the season. Colin Moss with the, floats it in, Shep. Zach. Diego whistled for the foul. How are you? Thank you for being here. All right, free kick given to Ridgeview. Plays it short. Diego to JC. JC. Hard tackle, hop up, yellow card issue to the Ridgeview player. Let's scroll away from that. JC hops up and walks it off, rubs some dirt on it. He's a tough cookie. This will be a free kick for Walker Miller. All right, so yellow card issue to Ridgeview player who is already playing a man down due to a handball in the box, I believe. Must have been a deliberate handball. I missed it, but Walker Miller serves us up. Finn Porter, whistle for a foul. And Porter intercepts that long pass. Plays a ball out to Height Kramer. Ridgeview clears that up. Adam Britt. Walker Miller's there. Up to William Colloy. Clear it, boys. Zach Shep. Finn battling. Good step. That goes out of bounds. Oh, on AC floor, that'll be a ridge view throw in. Smith. Senior Smith Templeton. Shep to Zach. Zach back to Shep. Oh. Boys, come on. Shep plays that out of bounds. That'll be a Ridgeview throw in. Just about 15 minutes into the match, race for Falcons lead to one to zero. Of a beautiful goal from senior captain J.C. Blackwelder. Yeah. 
Smith there again. Well done. Finn with the flick. Height with the header to Diego, to Finn. Oof. To Diego. Stop arguing. He wanted to give you a card. Back up. All right, so that'll be a free kick for Ridgeview. About 45 yards out. So this year's squad has nine seniors, two juniors, seven sophomores, and two freshmen. Smith snags that again. Distributes out to Walker. JC. It goes to Finn. Finn plays back to Shep. Shep over to Diego. Diego is a senior as well. Over to Adam. Adam over to Height, who's a senior. Whistled off sides. That'll be a Ridgeview free kick. Diego serves up to JC. Great ball. Handball again. JC. Over to Cullen. Back to JC. Go, JC. That'll be a corner kick coming up for AC Flora. All right, Shepard Huggins will play this ball in. Corner kick. Mm, Walker Miller got up, but then it comes out down out of bounds. That'll be a Ridgeview goal kick. Zach Versailles with the header, finds Finn to Shep, back to Finn, over to Cullen. Finn resets way far back to Walker. Walker resets even further back to Smith. Finds William Colloy. William serves it up. JC. Goal! Cullen Moss. AC Flora 2, Ridgeview 0. That didn't really look like it had uh, any opportunity to be there. Referees are discussing it. Let's watch that replay. JC. Maybe he was offsides. Go! Cullen Moss. Because he thought he was, but uh, until the very end. But offsides, so no goal. All right, so still 1-0. Cullen Moss take his goal off the board.
after the referees corrected themselves. Shep, Adam, Height, back to Diego. Diego, big ball, looking for JC. Uh, JC gets there, but uh, touch was a little too much, and the Ridgeview keeper scoops it up. Diego, great touch. Good, Height Kramer. Go, Height. Yep, that was another card. There's no way. Wow. Hmm. Not sure how that was no, a no call. Good step, Adam Britt. And that goes out of bounds. That'll be an AC floor throw. Walker to Zach. Over to Shep. Ends up at Diego. Over to William. Back over to Walker. Let's clear it up, boys. Nice flick. Cullen finds JC. Mm. Oh. Zach finds JC. Touch and go, JC. Go! Cullen Moss. JC Blackwater with the assist. AC Flora 2, Ridgeview 0. Well done, Cullen. Great work, Zach. Great ball to JC, who did the job. And that gives uh, JC his 10th assist to go with his 11 goals, or 12 goals now. And then um, Cullen Moss. That gives him 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 goals on the season. All right, so Zach Verzal takes a break. Shep Huggins takes a break. And Height Kramer takes a break. So we got subs that came in. We've got Carlitos Fernandez. We've got Andrew Klee. And we've got Azel Benag. Well done, boys. And that goes out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for Adam Britt. Resets back to William. Over to Walker. Back to William. Diego. Adam. Carlitos. Finn. Cullen. Ball coming to us. That'll be a AC floor throw in. Azel Benag. Toss that in. Good throw. Cullen with the flick. Have one. Oh, good gosh. Wow. That was a heck of a shot from Diego. I think I got that on a good throw. Cullen with the flick. Have one. Oh, good gosh. Wow. Great try, Diego. Carlitos to put this ball in. Corner kick for AC Floor. Walker Miller. Go. AC Floor three. Ridgeview zero, well done, Walker Miller. Walker Miller's third goal on the season. Doesn't seem like a lot, but when you are the sweeper or central defender, that's pretty impressive. Well done, Walker. Let's see if we got that on replay. There you go, Carlitos put this ball in. Corner kick for AC Floor. 
Walker Miller! Go! All right, so AC floor three, bridge view zero. Adam Britt with the header. Carlitos plays forward to Cullen. Go, Cullen Moss. AC Flora four, Ridgeview zero. That gives Cullen his 31st goal on the season. Let's see if we got that one on replay. Plays forward to Cullen. Let's start that over. Carlitos plays forward to Cullen. Goal, Cullen Moss. AC Flora four. All right, AC Flora four. Ridgeview zero. Last time uh, we played, it was score of five to zero. AC Flora. JC. That'll be a Ridgeview throw in. Mazel to Andrew Klee. Mazel back up, looking for Cullen with the flick. Walker with the header. Looking for Andrew Klee. Plays forward to JC. JC, great move. JC floats one up and it goes too high and too wide. Be a ridge view goal kick. So, referees talking to a Ridgeview player. I think maybe he uh, maybe got hit in the head. So, sending the trainers over. I think he wanted to stay on, so hopefully everything's good. But Tracy Floor Falcons lead 4-0 to zero over Ridgeview. Pair of goals from Cullen Moss, one from Walker Miller, and one from JC Blackwelder. All right, be a goal kick for, our, for Ridgeview. About 11 minutes remain in the first half. JC. Nice move. JC has a go with his left foot, goes a little wide. That'll be another goal kick for Ridgeview. And Ridgeview's players back in. All right, so we've got four subs coming in. We got number 15, Reed Harrelson, giving Adam Britt a break. We got Johnny Strickland giving Cullen Moss a break. We got Grant Hill giving JC Blackwell a break. And we have Dylan Torres gave someone else a break. Finn Porter. Somehow they're all up there. Azell. Oh, okay, so Azell moves to midfield. Carlitos. All right, so subs that came on Johnny Strickland. Dylan Torres, Reed Harrelson, and I'm already forgetting the fourth person. Grant 
Grand Hill, sorry. Brazil? Diego? Johnny? Diego? Big ball kicked out of bounds. It'll be an AC floor throw in for Reed Harrelson. Play it back to William Colloy. AC floor whistle for a foul. It'll be a free kick coming up. Walker Miller. Carlitos. And that goes out of bounds for a Ridgeview throw. All right, Zach Versal comes in, gets William Kaloy a break. Well done, William. Azel. Oh, nice shot, Azel. Have one, Andrew. So Diego has a shot. Keeper saves it. A punt coming up for Ridgeview. With about 7-11 left. Andrew Clee. Dylan. Andrew resets back to Walker. Walker, big ball over the top. Two or three offsides. Um, Grant and Carlito is probably... So that'll be a free kick for Ridgeview right below us. Thank you all for tuning in. Thanks to Jeff at Definite Fiction. After tonight, two more matches. One on tomorrow night, Friday, against Richmond Northeast, and one next Tuesday against Legion Collegiate. I'm assuming that's a new school out of um, Rock Hill area, maybe. Richmond Northeast will be away, and then Legion Collegiate will be here at Falcon Field. And then we start um, playoffs week after next. All right, so Eduardo Hernandez comes in for Diego. Big throw from Reed. Andrew Klee plays the ball up. Don't let him turn. And that gets floated out of bounds. And that'll be throw in for Dylan. Dylan resets back to Walker. Walker switches over to Zach Versile, another senior. Zach finds Andrew, Andrew to Reed. Over to Johnny. Ridgeview intercepts. Azell steps in, snags that.
Not sure what happened there, but Azell uh, is getting back up. But whistle for the foul, so that'll be a ridge for you throw in. About 420 remaining in the first half. So Shep will come in and give Azell a break. Maybe uh, Azell took a f in an unintentional uh, shot to the face, maybe. Free kick coming up for Ridgeview. Zach Versailles with the header. Shep Huggins with the foul. And that'll be another free kick for Ridgeview. This one a bit closer, about 35 yards out roughly. Gah, dang it. I didn't even hear a whistle. There was no whistle. Are you serious? Is it not on the whistle? I'm not sure about that one, y'all. I didn't hear a whistle. So AC floor four, Ridge view one. It was a great place ball, but um, would have been nice to know that he was kicking it. That'll be an AC floor throw in right here at the Gator. So under two minutes, official time on the field, unofficial time on your screen. Diego, I mean, uh, Dylan throws that ball in. Dylan will get another shot. Actually, Grant will throw this in. Carlitos. Wow, what is this guy doing? I mean, <laughs> maybe the AR called that because there's no way he saw that from 100 yards away. All right, so Grant. Walker. Through ball to Carlitos. And that'll be an AC for a throw in. Let's see if I happen to get that uh, goal on. Ah, dang it. I didn't even hear a whistle. It's too late. Grand Hill throw this in. Shep's there, but the keeper is as well, so. Just about 20 seconds. That'll go out of bounds. Nope, it doesn't. It does. So that'll be a throw in right here at Cro Coach Schroer and Coach Moss. Dylan resets to Walker. And that's your halftime whistle. AC floor goes into the break with a score of four to one. We'll see you back in 10 minutes. Thanks for tuning in.
All right, welcome back to the second half. Your AC Floor Falcons in blue. Took a four to one lead into halftime against Ridgeview in white. AC Flora starting in the back. We got Fareed Tavacoli, senior goalkeeper. We got Adam Britt, William Colloy, Walker Miller, Zach Versile in the midfield. We've got Diego Vasquez. Ah, heights whistled off sides. Diego Vasquez, Finn Porter, and Shepard Huggins. Up top, we've got Height Kramer, Cullen Moss, and JC Blacklock. So we got a little more clarification about the uh, goal they scored. We were still, Smith was on near post setting up his wall. Um, but because the wall was outside of 10 yards, 15 yards or so back, um, the referee didn't have to stop play. And it was a great heads up play from Ridgeview. And he hit it perfect, right? Upper 90 uh, far post. So unfortunate, but uh, maybe we'll learn uh, we need to set up our walls inside 10 yards and make the referee move us backwards. Offsides. So we got a Ridgeview player down. Oh, he lost his shoe. All right, so be a free kick in a second. All right, so we're trying to figure out what to do. The trainers happen to be on the opposite side of the field. Uh, the Ridgeview player came off on this side looking for the trainer, so she's jogging over. All right, so there we go. Free kick coming up for Ridgeview. Your AC4 Falcons are coached by head coach David Schroer, assisted by Von Benag and Emmett Moss. Streaming brought to you by Definite Fiction and our buddy Jeff Rhodes. JC Blackwater is fast as lightning. Oh, JC Blackwater. AC Flora 5, Ridgeview 1, JC got control of that ball about half field and made it a race to the goal and then buried it. JC Blackwater is fast as lightning. Let's restart that, it'll play better. JC Blackwater is fast as lightning. I mean, I honestly was watching that replay. It's like JC Blackwelder. That uh, <laughs> JC is fast. AC four five Ridgeview one. JC with his second goal of the match. Well done, Shepard. Go, Shep. Go yourself. Goal. Sorry, I thought it went outside. I didn't celebrate quite like I should. <laughs> Shepard Huggins <laughs> makes it six to one, just like that. Shep, go, Shep. Shepard, hopefully I got that. Go, Shep, go yourself. Well done, Shepard. Go, Shep, go yourself. Goal. All right, so sorry I didn't celebrate as usual, but uh, AC floor six, Ridge V1, Shep Huggins. Good goal. 
again, outraced his defenders and buries it to give us the 6-1 lead. Then whistle for the foul. That'll be a Ridgeview free kick. JC plays back to Zach. No, to Walker, sorry. To Fareed. Fareed said, I don't want that. Plays it forward, Finn with the flick. Cullen battling. Height. That goes out of bounds. Adam Britt will sling it in right in front of us. That goes out of bounds. Adam Britt will sling it in again. Adam Britt, let's just keep on going down the field like that, perfect. Adam Britt. Then find Zach Versailles. Oh, nice try. Zach tries to play forward to Finn. Ridgeview keeper comes up and snags it. Adam, well done. Diego, well done. William Cloy, Adam, all right, your AC floor Falcons, good ball, go Cullen, that'll be a corner kick coming up for your AC floor Falcons, so your AC floor Falcons come in to this match 13, 0, and 2, in the region they're perfect 8-0, They've scored 72 goals, had 65 assists, and 10 goals against. Currently uh, number one in Region 5 4A and number six in all of 4A. Ridgeview comes into this match 5 and 11, 1 and 7 in the region, scored 37 goals and given up 58. Corner kick from Shep. That'll be another corner kick. Shepard Huggins with the corner kick. Ooh, wow, Walker Miller, nice try. That'll be another corner kick. Shepard Huggins right with the corner kick. Ooh, wow. Nice try, Walker. Wa Oh, gosh. God. Diego. Or is that Carlitos? That was Diego. That was a heck of a shot right there. Ooh. Wow. Nice crowd, Walker. Oh, gosh. Nice try, Diego. Adam. That goes out of bounds. That'll be a Ridgeview throw in. Diego's there. William Cloy back to Fareed. Fareed takes it off the bounce, finds height. Over to Shep. Shep, big ball looking for Cullen. Nice height. Get there, height. All right, that'll be a throw in deep in Ridgeview territory for your AC4 Falcons. Quick throw, Cullen. Over to Adam. Adam switches fields. Diego. Oh. Had his pocket picked. Shep's there. Finds JC.
Adam. Finds height. Over to Diego. Walker serves that up. Looking for Cullen. Back to Adam or Finn. Finn pings it over to JC. Great ball. Resets back to Zach. Wow, I think we thought it was out of bounds. William Cloy. Eee. Good, Adam. Height. Finds Cullen. Over to Shep. Over to Zach. Zach finds Finn. Well done. Be an AC floor throw, cross field. Alright, that'll be a throw in for AC floor. Our ball boy is on point tonight. He's fast. Mr. Gillette. Shep has a go. Goes a little wide. That'll be a goal kick coming up for Ridgeview. Diego, Finn. All right, so Finn whistle for the foul. We'll have the Ridgeview player checked on. That's our other uh, senior, Fareed Tavacoli. He and Smith uh, split time in the goals. Both uh, are starters. For Reed starts the second half, Smith starts the first, usually. That's how it works out for them. Been that way for the past two years and it's worked pretty well. Sure helps having folks like Walker Miller, William Colloy, Dylan, Adam, Zach, Azell, Reed, all of them in front of you. JC with the header to Diego. Diego finds Shep. Reset back to Zach. Good bit of work. Adam with the big ball over the top, looking for JC. Well done. Oh, nice save from the Ridgeview keeper. That was a great uh, pass, and JC did the right thing, trying to one-touch, head it over keeper. The keeper got lucky. Not lucky. I don't want to say that. But right place, right time. It was a great save. Shep. Looking for Cullen. That rolls out of bounds for a Ridgeview goal kick. 
just about 15 minutes into the second half. Your AC4 Falcons lead 6-1. to one. If you missed uh, senior night activities or festivities, uh, we celebrated our nine seniors before the match tonight. Heard about all their, good gosh, good shot, their accolades. So our nine seniors, we got Smith Templeton, Fareed Tabacoli, Walker Miller, Adam Britt, Zach Versal, J.C. Blackwelder, Diego Vasquez, Height Kramer, and William Colloy. I think that's all of them. So we got nine seniors, two juniors, seven sophomores, and two freshmen. Corner kick coming up for Shep. Go! Senior captain Walker Miller. AC Flora seven, Ridgeview one. Well done, Walker. Great ball, Shep. For Shep. Go! Senior captain Walker Miller. Walker came into this match with two goals and has tied that tonight. So that's his second goal of the night. Gives him four on the season, along with four assists, all from that uh, center back position. AC floor seven, Ridgeview one. Zach. Big ball over to JC. Ooh, good gosh. That's definitely a card. All right, so pause for the calls while JC uh, Gets together. So JC's up. This will be a free kick coming up for AC Flora. Let's see, William Cloy looks like he's going to put this in play. If only we'd done that on our free kick where line up inside 10 yards and then the referee has to kind of pause for the calls oh jc was there but as was the keeper. Good ball served in from William Cloy. JC was on the end of it, uh, but the keeper happened to be on the other end of it. Get there, Adam. Oh. Oh. All right, corner kick coming up for Ridgeview. All right, corner kick coming up for Ridgeview. Walker Miller heads that out of bounds for Ridgeview throw in. All right, Fareed's there to scoop that up. That's enough of that. He distributes out to William Colloy. Back to Walker. 
Walker finds Adam. Adam takes space. Great ball. Looking for Cullen. Well done, Adam Britt. Go, Cullen. Beat him. Good try. All right, that'll be a goal kick coming up for Ridgeview. Got three subs on deck. We got number 10, Carlitos. Jan Pasina Fernandez. We've got Grant Hill and Andrew Klee. So about 19 minutes remain in the match. All right, Shep Huggins takes a break. Colin Moss takes a break. And J.C. Blackwater takes a break. Well done, boys. Well done. All right. Goal kick coming up. Diego looking for Grant. Ugh, gold kick coming up for Ridgeview. So, boys tennis, just see on Twitter, our boys tennis team who uh, won their region for the 10th year in a row earlier, uh, either this week or late last week, um, had a big match against Camden and AC Flora. Boys tennis won four to two. Well done, boys. They celebrated their lone senior, who's also a uh, photographer, Lanier Smith. Well done. Oh, Carlitos, great try. So Lanier Smith is a senior on the tennis team and also uh, one of our resident uh, photographers for AC Flora. Looks like we got Aiden Sauls out here tonight taking pictures, so appreciate him out here too. Diego plays back to Adam. Now to roll out of bounds. That'll be an AC floor throw. To Zach. Finds Andrew Klee. Back over to Walker Miller. Diego, Carlitos, Zach, floats up looking for Grant. Good, Andrew Klee. All right, somebody stop ball. Well done, Diego. Grant goes down, but because uh, we ended up with the ball, we take advantage. Finn and Carlitos working together. Walker. Big ball looking for height, Kramer. Go height, go height, go height. Ah, All right, well done. This will be a corner kick coming up for AC Flora. Be about 15 minutes remaining when we put this in play. Carlitos, serve this in. He's over there hidden by uh, the concession stand, but he'll serve this ball in. And that curves a little too much and goes off the yellow post.
quiet night here at uh, on campus. No softball, no boys tennis finished up earlier, no baseball, and no little bobbleheads running behind us on the field making noise. They were here earlier. All right, whistle for a foul. That'll be a free kick for Ridgeview. Andrew Clee gets up high and heads that. Back to Zach, Zach to Adam, Adam to Diego. Diego resets back to Walker. Walker finds Finn. Finn through ball, oh, that was almost perfect. Great, that worked out really well. Go Carlitos. Go Carlitos. AC Flora 8, Ridgeview 1, Carlitos. Let's watch that again. Oh, oh, that was almost perfect. Great. Finn through ball. Oh, that was almost perfect. Great. That worked out really well. Go, Carlitos. Go, Carlitos. Well done. Andrew Clee played that last ball. Bounced off a Ridgeview defender straight to Carlitos, and Carlitos put it away to give AC Flora the 8 to 1 lead. Walker. Over to Zach. Over to Andrew Clee. Back to William Coy. William Cloy, through ball. Go, height, go, height. Go, height, go. Good, Walker. Diego says, I'll take that. That'll be a Ridgeview throw in. That'll be a blue throw. So Johnny Strickland will come in. Johnny Strickland, number 17, comes in and gives Finn Porter a break. Well done, Finn. Let's go, Johnny. William Colloy to throw this in. <laughs> William Colloy. No, I'm sorry. Andrew Clee, whistle for the foul. That'll be a free kick for Ridgeview. Yeah, don't get in front of it, please. This will be a free kick for Ridgeview. 10, 14, 24 yards out. Reads there. Knocks that down. Picks it up. 
distributes out to Walker. Walker over to Zach Versailles. Zach finds height. Oh, play forward to Carlitos. Back to Walker. Back over to Zach. Zach finds Adam. Adam, great ball to Carlitos. Goal, Carlitos. Great ball. AC floor nine, Ridgeview one. Let's watch that again. Adam. Is Adam? Adam, great ball to Carlitos. Goal, Carlitos. Great assist from Adam. So now we got uh, Finn coming back in, Reed coming in, Dylan coming in, Shep coming in, and Eduardo. So Adam takes a break. Well done, Adam. Diego takes a break. Walker Miller takes a break. Carlitos takes a break. William Colloy takes a break. Well done, boys. Good, Zach. Good, Andrew. Go, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Look at Eduardo. Holy moly, he's fast, too. These boys look like they're in fast forward tonight. Shep, looking back for Johnny. Shep's there. Go, Height. All right, there'll be a corner kick coming up for AC Flora. Shep will put this in play. AC floor leads nine to one. Shep to play this in. Good, Dylan. Dylan finds Grant. Grant serves it up. Oh, goal, Eduardo. Great ball, AC Flora 10, Ridgeview 1. Grant served up a great ball, and Eduardo buried it to give us the 10-1 lead. Let's watch that. Good, Dylan. Dylan finds Grant. Grant serves it up. Oh, goal, Eduardo. Well done, Eduardo, for his first AC floor goal. Johnny? Ooh. Shep to Andrew Klee. Back to Finn. Over to Zach. Back to Andrew. Over to Reed. Back to Zach. Zach plays it forward. Finds Eduardo. Finds Shep. Great ball. Go. Reed finds height. Reed finds Ridgeview. Nice work, Dylan.
Andrew Klee heads that out of bounds. Ridgeview throw. AC Flora throw. With about four minutes to play, your AC Flora Falcons lead 10 to 1. Grant Hill, big throw. Looking for Johnny. Goal kick coming up for Ridgeview. Reed. Eduardo. Good read, smart play. Just play it out of bounds, let our defense recover. So be a throw in right here for Ridgeview. Under three minutes. Reed, Shep. Clear it, boys, clear it. Andrew. Go, Shep. That's not a foul. Wow. Ridge V throw right below us. Johnny. Height. Reed. Reed says enough and clears it way downfield. Eduardo gives chase. For Reed's there. Under two minutes. Free with a big punt. Height. That goes out of bounds right below us. It'll be an AC floor throw in. Reed Harrelson will throw this. Zach Rasail to Finn to Andrew. Send them. All right. So about a minute left to play on my watch, but that'll be AC Flora ten, Ridgeview one. And with that win, pretty much, no, we, we don't pretty much. We do clinch Region 5 for a championship. So your AC4 Falcons are region champs once again. So they go into our next region match against Richmond Northeast tomorrow night. But with a record of 9-0, and zero, we'd have to lose at least two or three games, but there's only one left. So AC Floor 10, Ridgeview 1. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to Jeff at Definite Fiction. We'll see you tomorrow night from Mitchell Northeast.